<laughs> okay, what about this guy? Can we attack him? <laughs> Are you a learner? Don't touch him. Better leave him like that. I like him the way he is. Or that his one one minute prayer he does sometimes in the morning. Sometimes he's reading the Bible, he sleeps. Just leave him like that. Don't touch him. Because if you touch him now, out of fear, he might run and start praying more and crying out to God for help. And that might draw him closer to God. So just leave him like that. As long as he's complacent like this, he's not a threat to us. Okay? Alright, boss. What about this guy? Are you drunk? Have you forgotten what happened the last time? No, I'm not talking about the direct attack. What if you can find something in him to use? Something he's lost for. The desperate need of a job. Good, then we can help him get a very high paying job that will give him the life he has always dreamt of. Then when he has gotten so fond and attached to the job, then we ensure that his responsibilities keep growing, that he will never have time to do anything else again. What if he goes to God for inquiry and God asks him not to take it? No, I don't think he will. Since he's very desperate for that job, that desperation will make him not be even able to hear God, even if God is speaking. We can also use his wife as plan B. Yes, exactly. We can always have our as plan B. Ha 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 